is Jared Kushner not being forthcoming with congressional investigators, or might you be willing to give him the benefit of the doubt that failing to disclose meetings or overtures by Russians was not specific to congressional requests? So, Alex, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. It, it's Thank been you. another week of revelations, and the Jared Kushner issue is one. Uh, I think at least as significantly was the fact that Donald Trump Jr. was engaged in direct email exchanges with WikiLeaks. Uh, we learned also this week that Director Mueller is now calling in Hope Hicks of the Trump administration as well as requesting additional documents. And, oh, by the way, this in the same week in which the president has indicated that he believes Vladimir Putin over the intelligence com uh, community in our country. Look, this thing is moving, and it's moving very fast, and it's not moving in a good direction but for the president. I, I'm curious, Donald Trump Jr. and the WikiLeaks revelation, were you surprised by that? How significant is that? So I think probably the thing that's most appropriate that I could say is at this stage, nothing surprises me. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to play for you what Luke Harding, uh, as you know, he's a journalist who interviewed Christopher Steele before the Trump dossier became public. What he said to me about Glenn Simpson and Russia having compromising information on President Trump. Here it is. I think Glenn is also quietly confident that the dossier is right. I mean, he's taken a lot of flack and, and fire for, for how it came about and all the rest of it. And I think in a way that's missing the point. It's not about process. It's not about who paid for the dossier. It, the, the question is, did Donald Trump and his team collude with Russia? Uh, and I think the more we know, the more certain we can be to say, to say yes, actually they did. A lot of secret meetings is the title of my book. Um, and, and each week we learn, we learn of more interactions. Mm -hmm. And of course this is what the KGB does. They, they try and penetrate, they try and target, they try and cultivate for their own purposes. Look, I know you can't tell us exactly what was said, but did you <laughs> leave your meeting with Glenn Simpson believing more significantly that Russia has compromising information on President Trump? <laughs> Uh, Alex, I left that meeting thinking I had just spent the most unbelievable, I don't know how many hours we were in there together. It was many that I had thus far in this year. Look, I'm going to take you back to something I said, I think, on your program in the spring that was a little controversial at the time, but I'm going to reiterate it today. People are going to jail. People are going to go to jail. Uh, and, in fact, when I said that, I came in for some criticism for it, but now, of course, we've seen several indictments. I'm also going to go on record here today and say additional people are going to be indicted. I've also said, and we'll reiterate here today, that where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's so much smoke you can't see the hand in front of your face. Hmm. Jeff Sessions, I know, returned before your committee um, at the end of, a, of the month for a closed-door interview. What did you learn from the public grilling that he faced before the House Judiciary Committee? So um, the thing I would say about Attorney General Sessions, two things. First of all, he is suffering some from a, with some of the most profoundly selective amnesia of any human being I've ever met in my life. He seems just never to quite remember the things that might incriminate him. The other thing that I would say about him is that he's clearly on the watch, fi the firing watch list, right? It's in Washington, D.C., there's kind of like this inside game of, Who's going to get fired first, Rex Tillerson or Jeff Simpson or Jeff Sessions? But I find it all, frankly, kind of ironic. <laughs> On another newsworthy note of this week, Alex, Rich Cordray announced his retirement from the Consumer for, mm -hmm. uh, Finance Protection Bureau. Originally, President Obama wanted to appoint Elizabeth Warren to that, but Republicans wouldn't allow that. So she went on to be a United States senator. Now they've hounded Rich Cordray out of office, and can you say Governor Rich Cordray in the state of Ohio? Hmm. And at the same time, Mr. Sessions, who left his seat in Alabama in order to become attorney general, can you now say United States Senator Doug Jones, the Democrat, who is up by eight points? in the most recent poll by Brand X News Network, which often doesn't reveal information favorable to Democrats. So this thing is full of ironies as it relates to all of it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.